Thanks for watching again my channel guys. Today we're going to be working on a Cummins ISB engine and we're going to how to remove broken stud and exhaust manifold or any other bolts or anything or screws that are broken studs. Today any tools that you see right here or anything else I have in my any other future video are going to be in the description to check out the links and please subscribe to my channel guys if anything helps, comments or anything likes. First thing we're going to do is first is in this broken stud this is the mount for the turbo on the exhaust manifold. We had a broken stud here so I'm going to let put a mark in the center of the broken stud so when I use my drill bit um, it doesn't go all over the place so you want to get a center put a little mark in right in the center of um, the stud which is a I have a punch I ground down to make a tip you can buy them like that they're called center punches um, I'm using printing chorion oil I'm gonna let it sit for about 15 minutes kind of get it in there let it sit for a minute if you have a real bad stud, first, let's get first. We're gonna use, uh, on this certain kick, I have a snap on, but there's other great kits out there too. as an extractor and a drill bit. Those are the extractors, and the, these are left-handed drill bits. Left-handed, They sometimes you can get them out without even using an extractor. As you can see, we're gonna use, we're gonna use drill with the left hand drill bit. It's gonna go the opposite direction as a regular drill bit. So, um, a lot of times these studs can happen where I'm, I'm using a spraying pit more penetrating or penetrating oil on this too because it doesn't get the drill bit so hot and it's kind of like a coolant too and it helps to keep the, the bit cool um, and it kind of gets more inside of the threads of the broken stud. This one in particular we're gonna you're gonna see down the road where it's not as hard as other ones. Sometimes you might need to use heat of a torch and the outside of the stud but not in the middle of the stud because you're, you want to get the outside of the metal to expand away from the stud so this particular one is not going to be like that so you can see if you watch the stud it's going to start actually start to want to spin out with just because just with the uh, uh, left handed drill bit it spins it to the, the way of the thread of the of the stud spending more penetrating oil just to get the drill bit and not get keep it hot. Oh, I see it move again to the bit the stud move out while I drill drill it. It's gonna come out here more even better each time I go. See, you want to if you're gonna when you put your extractor, you want to have that thing go all the way through as far as you can, so you can get your extractor to. Oh, here we go. The stud's starting to come out with, on its own with just with the left handed drill bit. There it goes. Got it out. Then we use an extractor. Sometimes that happens. The other one's not. It just depends. So there's a, uh, the stud broken stud out. So let's go to. I'm going to show you what you would do if you didn't get this without this right. You got to put one of these extractors in into this tip of this. Uh, you can see the the stud and where I've drilled it. And you're going to put that extractor inside of it, inside of that hole right there. Hopefully, you get more far than the dip because you want that extractor to go as far as you can. Because if you don't, you, if you barely get in, you got to push it in there, and you'll tap it with a hammer usually, and it gets the little grooves in, and. Uh, and you pull it out, you take a wrench, and then you kind of ease it out. If not, you might need a torch because you don't want to break those bits out because those things will break if you put too much pressure on them. So that's what you do. You put a socket on there and pull it out. Thanks, guys, for watching Dirty Deeds Mechanic, guys. Any tools you see right here will be in the description or ones that are similar to it that work just as good. Um, please like and subscribe to my channel, guys. I really appreciate any comments. And you see the video on the left or right, check them out. Any, any videos that I have that are coming up, or I try to release a video once a week in the middle. Please subscribe. And thanks again for watching my channel, guys. Bye. Thank you.